to go two goals down after big mistakes and to come back with that character, it's it's the point, just not the three points you needed. Well, you need it. I mean, uh, we will never be that arrogant, hopefully, to say we, it's a must win against uh, against the Liverpool team. You always have to fight hard in every single game and against Liverpool double and triple times. That, um, it's like this. We did huge mistakes, unfortunately, because we started very, very strong. They have the quality to punish it. We struggled uh, a bit in, in the last position, in finishing and in, in decision making to create maybe even more chances. But uh, the goal got, uh, got the belief back, the quality back, and then was a perfect comeback almost in, in first half, where we almost turned it completely around. Uh, yeah, it was, was, was tough, was brilliant. In the end, you know, we, we, we would love to have some, some changes in, 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 a, in, a, in, a, in a proactive way, but the substitutions are always because of injuries. We're only reacting, reacting to take care of problems that cost us in, in, in the moment some, some percent that, that are needed to win these games. Apologies, I meant three points in terms of the title race. And I, I'm wondering if you think Mane should have still been on the pin, pitch after No, that. you know, I, I love the player. And, and uh, if, you remember the, if you remember the first game in Liverpool, how quick the referee, the same referee was to give us a red card. Um, uh, how quick he was with that decision, to, and I said it kills a, it, it kills a game. Yes, it kills a game because it's 45 minutes. Would have it killed the game if, if one player gets a red card after two after 20 seconds? Yes, but it's a red card. I'm sorry, it is a red card. I love the player. I love the guy, uh, but it's a red card. If you push the elbow into the face of somebody else, pff, it's a red card and nothing else. If you don't get it checked. Um, we end up in the same discussion like uh, like in the last game, where we don't check handballs in the in the in the opponent's box, where we don't check penalties for us, is uh, it's, uh, to say it polite, very unfortunate. I know an outstanding performance from your team, an outstanding comeback. We have to look to the Lukaku uh, uh, situation as well. Um, Tim Howard has rev revealed a private conversation bet behind between him and Romelu Lukaku, so I feel a little, a little awkward relaying it relaying it but Lukaku said the situation is still hot and there will be a meeting on Monday can yep. you elaborate on that for us or tell us what you need from Lukaku there's a meeting on Monday of course that's why we took the decision to delay the decision we needed some time uh, the story I I think I heard of the story on Friday I thought we can handle it. it's not the first time that, that something like this happens in, in my career uh, I'm, I'm still not personal. I, I don't feel personally attacked or, or disappointed or whatever. It's not about personal. But the thing got too big on a Saturday. If you play Sunday Liverpool, it simply got too big. It was, uh, it was too much noise. And for that, we protected a, a preparation that we need. Took him out of the squad to have, to have, um, to have quiet, quiet preparation. To have full focus because this is a huge game. You need to play it on top level. There was no time for for second thoughts and third thoughts about this and that's why we, we do it tomorrow.